Greetings. Welcome to another episode of Devoted Faith. You know, I have a question. Do you ever sacrifice for somebody if you haven't made up your mind to do it? Do you find yourself automatically just giving in? Do you find yourself automatically just serving the needs of others? I think most of us would say it does feel a little bit automatic. It feels a little bit routine, especially moms. Moms would say that most of my life has been built on a series or a pattern of giving up my own life for the needs of others. And so and that's something that, um, that we recognize only once a year, unfortunately, or unless you score a touchdown on national TV. But the reality is, is our minds are, are set to that at some point along the line. Now, something may become a habit down the road, but it takes an intentional engagement in, us, in order for us to really give of our lives or our time for somebody else. I, I come to this thought out of Philippians 2, beginning in verse 5, where the scripture says, Have this mind among yourselves. So there's a, a hint there that it, it clues in our brain that uh, we have to set our thinking towards something that the, 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 um, the apostle is saying in Philippians is a mindset that is given to us in Christ Jesus. And then he says in verse 6, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. What is this passage saying? The passage is saying that Jesus set his mind to um, not make his authority or his equality with God, his Father, the thing to be held on to, the thing to present to everybody and say, don't you know who I am? Or don't you know who my Father is? Instead, he set his mind to serving the needs of other people. This is my, my thought in all of this, is that you and I will not uh, portray that same lifestyle by accident. That Paul is telling us, engage your brain in order to lead to that kind of sacrifice. It does not come automatically. Somebody gave me the word picture one time years and years ago, and I haven't forgotten it. It's about, in this passage, it's the image of if Jesus were to be the captain of a ship that is being rowed in a direction by slaves. Jesus has every right to be on the, the helm of that ship or at the top of that ship or behind the, the wheel and, and just directing and commanding. Instead, what he does is he goes below deck and he links up with the slaves and he begins to row with them in order to accomplish the mission. This is really what Jesus set his mind to when he came. You and I are not going to just do that in and of ourselves or what the scripture would say in our flesh. That that requires a regeneration by the Holy Spirit. And then when that mind of Christ has been given to us, we engage it. And if you're like me, I got to engage it every single day in many, many moments throughout that day because what I want to do is take care of me. I know I'm a broken record on this and perhaps because it's so close to my heart, but this is what is going to turn all things around uh, for the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ is that if we engage in this mindset to lead others to him as our perfect example, but not just our example, the one who indwells us and gives us the ability to live that way. I hope this is an encouraging thought to you and I pray that your day is successful and that you find those opportunities to lay your life down for another. God bless you.